Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start Tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the steps of setting up your GNU Cash accounting period. And I will be talking about the difference between the GNU Cash relative and absolute feature. Setting up your accounting period should be the first thing you do once you set up GNU Cash. The accounting period you set is what will be used for your profit and loss statements. If you like my tutorials, please subscribe. Before you begin using GNU Cash, it's a good idea to set your accounting period. Even before you begin a new business, you are required by the IRS to select your accounting period for reporting profit and loss. For IRS purposes, a tax year is an annual specified period of time for keeping your business records and reporting income and expenses. Two methods used for an accounting period and approved by the IRS are a calendar year 12 consecutive months beginning January 1 and ending December 31st or a fiscal year which does not start on January 1 and necessarily end on December 31st. Some businesses and organizations prefer to keep records based on a fiscal year. For most small businesses, their accounting period will be based on the calendar year, 12 consecutive months beginning January 1 and ending December 31st. By setting up your accounting period preferences in GNU Cash, you are telling the system, this is the starting date and ending date I want to use for my business accounting profit loss calculations and net assets calculations. This is so important in bookkeeping that you are able to keep track of your business profit and loss and provide evidence to the IRS based on your annual accounting period. Not only can GNU Cash accounting period preferences be used to produce reports based on the dates you set, but it can also be used to generate specific date range reports. This can be very helpful to you when you want to know how your business finances are doing based on a specific accounting period. In GNU Cash, the preferences feature is used to set an accounting method and period. To begin, select edit from the menu bar. And when the menu opens, click on preferences. By default, the accounting period is the first option. You have two choices here, relative and absolute. Choose relative if your business uses the calendar year accounting period, 12 consecutive months beginning January 1 and ending on December 31st. Select absolute if your business uses the physical year accounting period. Both relative and absolute uses the dates you specify as the starting date and ending date for profit loss calculations and net assets calculations. The only thing you would do differently if your business uses the physical year accounting period is select absolute instead of relative and set the start and ending options and dates specific to your business accounting period. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the steps of setting up a standard calendar year accounting period. Since configuring the settings for a physical or a calendar year accounting period is basically the same, with relative selected, scroll over to the right hand side and click on the drop down arrow and select start of this year option if it is not already selected by default. Next you need to enter a starting date. You have two options you can use here to enter the accounting period dates. You can click on the drop down arrow and when the calendar appears, you can use the arrows at the top of the calendar to scroll through and select the month and year and click on the day on the calendar. And your selections will be automatically entered into the text box provided. Or you can simply type in the date into the text box. 
Be sure to enter the month, day, and year in the same format as you see here. In this example, I will enter 01012021. Next, scroll down to the ending date settings. Select the same accounting method you selected for the start date, if it is not already selected by default, which in my case, relative is selected. Next, select the end of this year option and enter the accounting period ending date. I will enter December 31st of the current year. Once you're finished, you can use the X at the top of the window to close it out or you can scroll down to the bottom of the window and click on the close tab to close out the window.